Pickles or Oreos? Pickled. Oreos. We're here with Olympian Jenny Simpson. We're here with Olympian Brenda Martinez. Woo! Obvious first question, where is your bronze medal? My <laughs> bronze medal lives currently in my nightstand, so not under super lock and key, um, but it's been super fun over the holidays. Like, I was a little bit shy about it, but everybody wanted to see it. Everybody wanted me to bring yes. it everywhere. Um, and so it's, it's, yeah, right there in my nightstand, ready to go anytime somebody wants to see it. What was your Rio experience like? What was, what was it like there? I had a really good experience, I think. What it took to get to the Olympics was probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, to go through six races um, and deal with the trip and then uh, come back and make, make it in a different event. Um, but yeah, I think the experience in Rio was amazing and I can call myself an Olympian now. Um, so again, what it took to get there was probably, had to be my story. And do you wear it to bed? <laughs> you know, no, we were joking around about how it's like, maybe I should like slip it under my pajamas at Christmas and wake up in the morning and be like, oh yeah, I just casually wear this while I sleep at night. <laughs> yes. But no, not, right. not under my pillow at night. Speaking of getting there, one of my favorite Brenda moments was the dive. Um, so <laughs> we need to know, how do you do that? How do you dive at the end of a race? And look so flawless doing uh, it. <laughs> well, I didn't expect to dive or anything like that, but um, actually I, I heard Amanda Eccleston coming beside me and I just had that, that slight little gear to like respond, but that that reaction made my legs buckle. So I wasn't purposely trying to dive, but it just happened that way in, in dramatic fashion. But uh, yeah, it, I guess I was perfectly fine with it. Yeah, I, mean, it I made the team. You do what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> so we saw your Instagram where you're next to a mannequin doing a mannequin <laughs> challenge, but it's like total ab goals. Uh, how do you get your abs? So I also am like not always super up to date on like what the social media trends are. <laughs> and so it was so funny. I had just been discussing that day, like what is this mannequin mm -hmm. challenge? Like, I don't know. And we're walking out of the store and this mannequin has ripped abs. Yes. And I was saying like, this is, this should be the new mannequin challenge. Yeah. Like, I don't know if anyone can live up to this mannequin. Anyway, so goals, abs. you can. Abs. Yes. So <laughs> I, I, I posted my personal funny twist on the mannequin challenge, but the abs, you know, honestly, I think it's mostly just all these years of working out, yeah. all these years of running, but there's definitely some vanity crunches in there once in a while. All right, <laughs> I love to hear that, that's awesome. Okay, we have our questions on our phones, which is why we're looking at them, we're not texting. <laughs> we're not texting. We're live tweeting our interview with you. <laughs> Um, so next question, do you want to do that? Sure, one? tell us about all your pets. <laughs> okay, so I have five pets, I have four dogs and one cat. Uh, they're all rescues, um, so it's Rainy, Bolt, Chase, Pina, and Boots is a cat. So. Oh my gosh, and you should follow her on Instagram because <laughs> her animals are amazing. <laughs> are you and Emma best friends? Emma, Emma and I are such good friends. She, everybody knows she's a bridesmaid at my wedding. She's getting ready to get married uh, in October. And um, we've just had such an incredible journey together. And I think the most fun thing for me is that I, since she was 17, came onto the uh, University of Colorado as a young little buffalo. Um, I've really seen her become like such a confident, such a beautiful young woman. Um, it's it's just incredible. Yeah, so we are we are as good of friends as, um, as we express to the world. Yay, just like Ozzy and. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yes. All right, last serious question. So your camp for high schoolers, it's amazing. Uh, and we heard you talk a bit, little bit about it. So I was hoping you could share uh, more of what you do with everybody. But also, we want to know if we can be part of the application process, <laughs> <laughs> even as 30 or 27 year olds. Uh, yeah, so every summer I have a girls camp. Um, and my roster is about 10 girls. I feel like that's as much as I can handle, um, just to kind of get the, to know the girls at a at a personal level. But it's through a writing contest, and it's only to Southern California girls that are in high school, and that we have that connection that we all run. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're not going to get in trouble if they write me a letter. Um, they're not breaking any rules, so it's a form of scholarship when they yeah. come up. Um, but I host them for about three or four days. New Balance takes care of all the gear, so they get three awesome. pairs of shoes and two full outfits, backpacks, water bottles. Uh, 
and we do clinics and seminars throughout the day and we do runs twice a day. That's it's, so it's amazing. Thing. Thank you. So we're totally disqualified because we're not from Southern <laughs> California and we're really old, but yeah. we'll just come hang out with you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we have rapid fire question time. Oh my god, okay. okay. <laughs> Hannah, you go first. Right. I'm so nervous. Who is your running idol? Oh, my husband. Halle Gabriel Salasi. What's your favorite TV show? The Good Wife. New Girl. Recently I've been watching a lot of New Girl. I that really like that show. New totally. Girl. What's your favorite song right now? It's probably a Selena song. Not Selena Gomez, but Selena Quintanilla. Um, <laughs> probably Do Solo Do right now. Megan Trainer. Oh, what's the name of it? You could just sing if, it. <laughs> <laughs> if I was you, I'd want to be me too. I think everyone yeah. should have that kind of confidence. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. Sorry, boots. <laughs> <laughs> Emma Stone or Jennifer Lawrence? Uh, Emma Stone. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence is such a badass, but La La Land, like, I laughed, I cried, it was amazing. I have seen so, it yet. I, need I to don't know, it. Emma Stone might have a little bit of an edge just because I just saw La La Land. Whoa. Really What's your favorite thing to do in New York City? Um, is it too cliche if I say run in Central Park? No, it's perfect. I just love running in Central <laughs> That's Park. That's exactly what Brenda said. Central Park, running through there. Finish this sentence. If I wasn't a runner, I would be a... Nurse. Ballerina. Awesome. Hottest male runner. <laughs> Oh, can I say my husband again? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say him, but I'm sure I had like the same runner crushes that everyone did when I was in high school and college. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what those uh, are. <laughs> uh, you don't have to get none, none that I know of, yeah, I don't know. No one? <laughs> all no one? Skinny weirdos. <laughs> Very cool. What is your favorite snack? Probably peanut butter and jelly out of the sandwich. Cool. The snack. <laughs> tortilla chips. I have a problem with tortilla chips. Like if I overeat, it's definitely chips and guac. Matt Damon or Ryan Gosling? Matt Damon for sure. By a mile. <laughs> awesome. And I take miles seriously. Yes. <laughs> Matt Damon. Yes. <laughs> Last one, pickles or Oreos? Pickles. Yes. <laughs> Oreos. Every single day of the week at Oreo. Yes. Brenda, thank you so much for thank hanging you. out with us thank today. Thank you. We had such a good time. And uh, we hope to catch you on the run. Thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having me. Out. Yeah, this has been really fun. Yeah, and you guys should come and check out this run center. It's super fun. All my friends yeah. are on the walls. All the events that I've done throughout the year, it's really, really fun. You guys should come. New York running lives here. Crazy time, just my life shine.